And, uh, Naomi again, and um, you know, um, there's some people out there. Let, let's talk a little about the, the West Hampton community because uh, I know that you guys do a lot of great things. So let's talk about the people, especially in, in South Shore, Nassau, are listening. Talk a little about uh, uh, the West Hampton community, about your high school, and, and what it's all about. We are, I feel very, very fortunate. Um, well, we actually, we actually both grew up and graduated from West Hampton and then moved away, traveled the world, and ended up coming back here to raise our children. So that's, that sort of says a lot about the community right there. Um, this is a community that pulls together um, for, to celebrate and to mourn together. This is a community that, um, you know, we're very blessed. We live in, I think, one of the most beautiful parts of the world. We have the beach, you know, two blocks, three blocks down the road here. Um, epic surfing, as you've heard on the surf report. Um, and uh, and we're, we're hoping that everyone does come out here. Every, every time somebody hears a story about, about uh, what this concert's gonna be raising money for, um, they are thrilled. Oh, they love Strawberry Fields. They love these guys. Um, uh, they are as professional as they come. And uh, so I always say, great music for a great cause. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that, uh, Susan. Uh, how about for you, coming back to the uh, community you grew up in, it has to be extra special, giving back to West Hampton High School and being a part of this great event this coming Friday night. It is. Uh, as Naomi said, you know, when I was ready to have children, this was where I wanted to raise my children because it is um, such a beautiful community and it's a great place to raise children. Uh, it's a little bit of a Norman Rockwell kind of a feel. It, it really is a little bit of a throwback to old times. It's a safe, beautiful place to let your kids ride their bikes down the street and play outside. Um, and, you know, paying it forward and, and being a part of the PTO is sort of what we all do in this community. And um, I can't say enough about what Naomi has done and what Joe has done and brought this this great scholarship to and our school, children. We have and school. We, our school is so very 100 percent very behind us. Of us. And, um, and they're so uh, they they were number one. Yes, that's we'll do it. Let's do we it. Will, yeah. We will get this cleared by the board. And um, they love Billy Ray, of course. Uh, everybody loves Billy Ray. Um, so we are really uh, we're we're thrilled and we're really excited for this concert. Billy Ray, uh, you know, people of my generation, um, when you hear Beatles, it's the most iconic, famous group, uh, in, my, in my opinion, of music history. You know, I, I remember the, the Beatles explosion in 1964 at Ed Sullivan, and by you doing Strawberry Fields, it's a way for people to tap into their childhood and their memories of such an iconic and legendary band. Absolutely. I see every Saturday we do a brunch at B.B. King's on 42nd Street in Times Square, we do a Beatle brunch. And the great thing about that show is you look out and you see kids in the audience singing these songs. When you're singing these songs, they're singing along with you. And uh, as you said, the most iconic band, and it's going to live on forever. The music is what made it stand, stand the test of time. Uh, a few years ago, my daughters, my well, daughters are in college now. Treated me to see Sir Paul at Yankee Stadium, and I went to see him and with them. Uh, I had more fun watching the kids watch Sir Paul, but the age groups in that stadium of 70,000 people was age 7 to 70, so that music spans generations and generations and continues to span generations. All right, oh, we're going to take a break, and after the break, we're going to come back to uh, Simon's and uh, talk some more about uh, the big event. Again, it's come happening. Friday night, October 2nd, West Hampton High School. Doors open at 645, and all the proceeds will benefit the Susan Satriano Memorial Scholarship Foundation. So make sure you're in West Hampton Friday night. All right, taking a break. I am Halftime Maui. This is Broadcasting on the Beach with Halftime Maui. Coming to you from Simon's Bakery Cafe in West Hampton Beach, on Long Island's first and oldest station, AM 1240, WGBB. So much, Brian, and we're live at Simon's. And uh, my compadre Rocco Pasafumi wants to ask a question because Rocco loves his music yes. to Billy Ray. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that very much, Howie. Um, I just wanted to ask you real quick. You were talking before about how young people love the Beatles as much as the people who grew up with the Beatles do. What is it about the Beatles that 
you know, apart from other groups and acts, there are so many acts that come through the pipeline over the years, and there's very few of them that manage to transcend the generation that they originally made their impact in, and the Beatles are one of those acts. What is your, what in your opinion, feel that is the reason? Well, initially, I think the time that they came to us in America here, we had just suffered the tragic loss a few months earlier with President Kennedy. So uh, the nation was feeling pretty sorry for itself, the world, in fact. And these guys came on uh, looking nothing like anybody we'd ever seen before with the long hair, which we thought was long, um, and just knocked us over. And the music was happy, it was fun. But I think your question is how, what made them, you know, a lot of people probably wondered, well, they won't last long, why they did was because of the music. And after the initial wow of this strange new group, they continued to make more and more beautiful music. And each record was different. And that they never, they never left the public eye because they were constantly putting product out there and reminding people of, you know, the, the initial impact of them coming. And the Beatles are still with us. And the fact that the generation upon generation upon generation are still singing those songs is testament to that music and why it's, why it's special. That's incredible. I mean, it's, it's very true because, um, like I said, there, there's so many acts come through. I mean, most of them are forgotten about, you know, when they make their hits. And um, there's, it's like, there's very few that can do that. I mean, the, the other person I can think of that has had that similar impact is Michael Jackson, you know, my feeling. I, it's just, well, I, you know, I saw the Beatles when I was a kid, 10 years old in Portland, Oregon, uh, August 22nd, 1965. That was about a year after they had come. And they were even more popular. And it seemed that year after year they became more and more loved. And I think it gets back to, again, it gets back to the quality of the music. That's what they do. Thank you very much for answering that. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, great job.